Hey, hey friends, it's Kimberly here, registered nurse and business development director with Specialty Care Management. So it's cold and flu season and we're still coming out of this pandemic phase that, we're, that we've been in for so long. And uh, colds and flus are going around the Langford family home. I thought it might be a perfect time for me to share some of my favorite de-germification tips, mainly because I just gave them to my son <laughs> who's homesick today. Um, so a couple of easy things that you can do to help make sure that your inside your home is fresh and to help limit the spread of colds and flus among family members and COVID as well, right? One easy thing that you can do every week, um, you're probably, like most of us, changing your linens every week. A really simple thing to do is every week make sure that you're opening the windows. In the winter time, we tend to stay inside and close windows and keep things warm. And we need that transference of air. Good fresh air is fantastic. Germs don't like um, fresh air. They don't like circulation. They don't like those kinds of things. So open up the windows. I do that when I strip sheets. Open up the windows, put new sheets on. So it doesn't have to take forever. I promise it, it's not gonna make a noticeable spike in your energy bill. Open your windows change your your bedding your sheets you can close your windows up and you do that i usually do room to room so you have a nice cross flow and then you close them down you've got this nice burst of fresh energy also um <clears throat> so our home we've been shopping from an online manufacturer of wellness products so we've switched from toxic chemical cleaners to more natural cleaners one of my favorites is Soluguard Botanical. This is a very powerful disinfectant that is non-toxic. So your kids and pets could drink it or lick it and it's not gonna put them in the hospital. I think that's amazing. Um, this kills MRSA, kills Staphylococcus, poliovirus, rhinovirus, rotavirus, uh, influenza, swine flu, and uh, coronavirus. Now keep in mind there's a whole bunch of viruses in the coronavirus family. So that does not mean that anything about COVID-19. But um, if you have a favorite disinfectant that you use, if you're using a disinfectant that's got some toxic um, uh, disinfectants in it, a uh, popular one, Lysol, Clorox, I would absolutely recommend that if you're gonna be spraying that stuff all over your house, make sure that you open your windows. We actually saw at the start of the pandemic, um, some folks who were um, really trying hard to disinfect and they were coming into the ER with lung inflammation from overuse of these products and they're highly toxic. Be that as it may, really focusing on disinfecting uh, common surfaces that you're going to touch. So common ones that we often think of are keyboards, doorknobs. So like I'm in my home office, I use my Soluguard that's either sprayed on the cloth or I use wipes. Um, every night my keyboard, my mouse gets disinfected, light switches, doorknobs, microwave handles, phones, TV remotes, your cell phones that you and your kids are on all the time, most of the time. <laughs> it's the only time that it gets cleaned if your kids are like my kids. Um, make sure that you're disinfecting those surfaces. We touch them all the time and they're right up next to our face. Um, we blow our nose or rub our eyes and we're back at our keyboards and these things are are really potent, um, just ripe with germs. So disinfecting these commonly touched surfaces are really important. Um, making sure that you're opening the windows, not just opening up for fresh air, let some fresh light in. As, as you de-germify your home, make sure that you're employing some of those same things with your own body. It's not the time to um, curl up in a ball and lay down all day. That doesn't mean that we want to exercise like crazy. Remember that exercise also creates inflammation. Doesn't mean that we don't want to exercise, right? But when you're going through an infection process and your body's working hard to, to fight off an infection, you don't necessarily want to be stagnant. You don't necessarily want to go out and jog a mile. I'm not saying that either, but some nice, gentle, nourishing movements to help you feel good and help facilitate circulation is really helpful. Drinking a lot of extra healthy fluids, limiting caffeine and alcohol, super important, but drinking plenty of fresh, um, um, clean water, um, making sure that you're not low on electrolytes. If you um, tend to be low on electrolytes, make sure that you add those in um, with your diet or electrolyte waters. 
Um, and make sure that you're allowing yourself for a nice balance of rest and activity. So nourishing movements and make sure that you have allow even a 10 or 15 minute nap. Most of us, a lot of us are still working from home. And so it's important to remember that your home environment, your work environment, we want to make sure that we're keeping those, those areas clean and healthy and that we're making sure that we're allowing some time also for our bodies for rest and work. It's a great thing to be able to work from home. You don't have to have a lot of downtime. That's really fantastic. But remember to plan in even a 10 or 15 minute nap a couple of times a day if you're fighting a cold or fighting COVID yourself. That can go a long way to help your body with the energy it needs to fight off an infection as well as to hopefully mitigate some of those longer lasting effects that we've been watching throughout the course of the pandemic. If you have questions and if I can be helpful to you, give me a shout. In the meantime, live well. Make it a great week. Bye, friends.